All right, well, I'm still working on this uh, little uh, simple two-magnet motor that uh, I showed last time a video, one I made out of corrugated cardboard, and then it was an adaptation of a 3D printed thing. And the uh, slider mentioned that this was probably the more interesting one because people could make it really if they didn't have a 3D printer. So I went forward with the project thinking, well, if I made up a template and... Um, with all the parts out of paper or thick cardboard, maybe you could print one out and just uh, replicate it that way. So I'm down to like cardstock. Uh, this is the three by five uh, or five by eight uh, index cardstock. And it's not real great, but something happened. And I wanted to show this and post a video and, and get some feedback on it. It's a two magnet with each pole being the same it's a electromagnet with 30 gauge wire this is a reed switch here at a funny angle it's a three about a three or four farad super cap um, 2.7 volt filled up with about two and a half volts and then over here is the standard driver same thing reed switch 30 gauge coil uh, same capacitor filled up with a couple of volts led to show the the firing of it and normally, I make these in repulsion. So when the magnet comes down here, the reed switch activates, it pushes the magnet away. And this particular one here, it's in attraction. So when this comes down here, the metal in the reed switch attracts the magnet. The magnet comes down here, reed switch fires, pushes the magnet that way. And so it goes around and around. But watch what happens. So I get this to go here. And there it goes. If I move this up here, this gets going really, really fast. Listen. Do you hear that? I found that very, very interesting. They don't normally run that fast. And all this is is a toothpick with uh, super glue and graphite on the end of it. It's a plastic drinking straw, and that's a 10 millimeter by 3 millimeter neodymium magnet. And the bearing surface is this index card with crazy glue and the pencil pushed through it. And I pushed the pencil through this way and through that way to form the bearing on this thing and this is running almost like a needle motor where you're using a steel needle on something but this time it's just a wooden toothpick so anyway I, I just wonder if um, anybody has any thoughts on um, what's going on here and why this runs so good it's very flimsy and it just sits in that notch right there the the little notch where the the bearing is there's nothing holding it in but the attraction holds the rotor in place see it won't even hardly go now but watch i put this up there next to it rev it up And off she goes. Now I can add more energy just by putting this thing on it here. I find that very, very interesting. There's no restraints on the on the toothpick either side. It just sits in there in that magnetic field. 